So, um, hi guys. My name is uh, Way Peters. Um, I'm 21 years old, living in Belgium currently. And um, today I decided to start my own YouTube channel. To start my first vlog, I decided to show you my first car. Um, it means a lot to me. Bring this uh, baby up and I will show you what's under the hood. Two part eight, multi port fuel injection. Hi, uh, welcome back. This time inside the car, and uh, let's take her for a drive. Okay. Um, the car is still very cold, so uh, I will have to uh, drive it kind of slowly in the beginning, but that's that's not a problem. Yeah. So this is my uh, Pontiac uh, 6000 uh, 2.8 V6 from uh, 1988 it's my first car I have ever owned still drive it very frequently um, have some have made some uh, modifications not big ones just some upgrades um, I've changed the air intake the spark plugs spark wires a lot of sensors I've uh, changed. I've installed uh, an electric uh, fan to avoid any overheating in the summer. I've put on this nice uh, new steering wheel, which gives us a, 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 a little modern touch. Otherwise, I uh, upgraded the uh, whole sound system with a sub in the back, which produces over uh, 2,500 watts, which is uh, quite impressive. Otherwise, um, I've got a whole new suspension kit on it, which handles well. Handling is uh, quite direct, not as good as a BMW, uh, but it's uh, it's okay. Um, when we talk about power, it generates about 140 horsepower, so that's. It's not too fast, it's definitely not too fast. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a perfect car just to cruise around, uh, get some errands done and just chill, you know. Uh, the interior is it's completely stock, very nice interior. Uh, it's actually one of the first electronic dashboards ever made. So at night, everything lights up, which is really nice. It's like you're in an airplane or something. Uh, I, really, I really love it. It's got uh, 245 tires in the back and 225 in the front, which gives a lot of grip. I'm not contemplating. Um, otherwise, as you can hear, it's a, it's a nice V6 sound. Let me get this straight like that. Okay. Yeah, so uh, my first car, uh, I've had it since like three or four years. Uh, my dad and I changed a lot on, on it, especially on the engine. The engine is a GM engine, 2.8. Um, and it's a 60 degrees GM specifically. So um, for those of you guys who know the engine will probably know that it's not a great engine to deal with. I mean, um, 
sometimes you have to take almost the whole engine out of the car just to uh, replace the sensor. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. But at the end, now I almost know the engine by heart, so it shouldn't be a problem anymore. Um, yeah. Exterior-wise, I've uh, done a black coating on the underside of the car with Plasti Dip. So if one day I'm kind of sick of the color, I just can whip it off and it's fully original again. I still have all the original uh, parts, such as uh, the wheels, still original at my place. Right now there are 17-inch uh, uh, Lenzo wheels on it which I really like. I have the same on my BMW E30. They are pretty cheap for the aesthetics and um, I mean, well, they just knock off uh, BBSs. But hey, I'm not gonna spend a, a couple grand on just uh, some BBSs. As you can see, um, roads in Belgium aren't that good either, but also it's the fact that um, I've got my car lowered. Well, uh, I've got the springs actually. I think uh, in the front they are cut by maybe six or seven centimeters. So that's around three inches. That's quite a lot. The tricky part about it is that there is no aftermarket uh, uh, coilovers for these kind of cars. So I had to cut um, the springs. At the end, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, but I'm maybe getting to uh, I maybe will get Some new springs in the summer just to get maybe a more comfortable ride Because with, with all the bumps in, uh, in Belgium, it's I mean you have to stop Accelerate stop accelerate all the time all the time, especially in the city. I mean after a while it gets a little bit uh, on your nerves Okay, let's see if I can get a straight road on the head so you can listen a bit to that V6 sound okay uh, just to clarify I don't normally drive fast with this car uh, just to avoid any damages to the engine it's just not worth it you know it's it's an old car and I just like to cruise with it but you see uh, but it, it pulls quite nice it has a lot of torque and a great sound to it so um, like I said, the perfect daily driver, just to cruise around, have some fun with your friends, show off. I mean, it's uh, I'm really digging this car since uh, the day I got it. Even since the day uh, my grandfather got it, because that's uh, whom I got it from. So yeah, I have a lot of projects coming up. Uh, I will be reviewing my other cars too. I have a lot of fun cars uh, at my place, also a lot of bikes and motorcycles. So if you guys are into that stuff, just keep on watching and um, I will keep on releasing those videos for you guys. Regarding fuel consumption, this Pontiac should get around 12 or 14 uh, liters, 400 kilometers. I don't know exactly what that says in uh, gallons, maybe like 25, 30, so it's not too bad, but compared to like newer cars, I mean, it's it's pretty bad, especially in Europe, where all the emission uh, environmental shit is going on, but hey, I'm not contemplating, I'm driving with an American car, so... <laughs> V6 it's really linear the power so um, it, it doesn't hit you in the back or something it just rolls with the flow it's, it's, a, it's a nice natural feeling okay so I'm heading back home right now um, or if you guys have any suggestions to make if you want to see more of this uh, just let me know Okay, well, thanks for watching guys and uh, hope to see you guys soon.